Hey everybody, Kara here. I am going to bring you today another Made Easy video. And today what we're going to do is put some amazing tire graphics on my 2019 Riker Rally 900. And uh, we're going to do th go through this step by step so that it's easy for you. That's the whole idea. And uh, yeah, so this is the kit right here. We have uh, some transfer paper that makes an imprint of the tire. You'll see that later on how that works. Uh, sandpaper. Uh, my tire graphics are going to say Riker Rally Can-Am or, or the other way around. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, there are some instructions here. A little bit vague. That's why I'm doing the video so to, to help you guys out to uh, understand that. Some stickers if you want to stick them on your ride, sandpaper and glue and uh, that is the kit. Other than that, what I would recommend is that you have these tools here as well. Uh, this will be a cleaner. This is 70% um, isopropyl alcohol. If you have anything higher than that, you might want to dilute it with water so that it doesn't uh, cause any problems. I'll show you how to use this Sharpie. It's a black Sharpie. It helped me immensely. This will be used to spread the glue on the back of the letters. This here is just uh, a toenail cutter that I use to cut off some of the little knobbies that are sticking up around the tire surface. And this is to separate the letters because they're joined so that you get a smooth and um, good looking application of the letters as they go around. Okay, so those are the tools you need and um, I just want to say you need to clean your tire super, super well. Um, if it's a new tire, even more so because there's oils in the tire that could leach through and affect your letters. Um, my tire is a year old now so I washed it hmm, with just some really hot water and dish soap for uh, three, four times with a, a soft scrub brush and uh, that's it. So that's pre preparation of the tire. Uh, there'll be some more preparation and we'll go through that now. Okay, now I have decided where I want my tire graphics to be on the tire. I've used the, as, just as I had on the first tire, the tire valve as a center point, which brings me to this part here and Riker Rally is centered on there and then down here I've got it centered uh, for Can-Am and the BRP symbol. It uh, works really well. I want to keep everything in line. I know that one tire to the other will not be the same because they're, they turn differently but uh, you won't see both sides at the same time anyways. So what I'm going to do now is just mark with this Sharpie where these letters are. So at the beginning and I'll put up quite a long mark because I'm going to have to sand all this and at the end of each word. The beginning and the end and the beginning again and the end until I have everything marked of where I want it to be. So there's no mistake. Okay. So now I need to sand this, just a light sanding. You don't want to do too much of a sanding, but you do want to get in between the letters that are already on the tire so that you have a great contact spot. So that is what the sandpaper is all about. And it will just be a light sanding like that until it is kind of a matte color. And if you can get uh, down deep in the letters, that would be great. So that's looking good on that side. That's all that's needed is to just rough it up a little bit so that the glue can meld into the rubber. 
Okay. Okay, so we have our areas sanded. I have my marks where I want the letters and all is sanded and well. Now we need to clean this area so we get a clean contact with the letters. And uh, that is what this isopropyl pads are all about. This is 70% isopropyl. You don't want to use anything higher than that, uh, which is actually mentioned in the instructions because you don't want to um, cause too much of a disturbance to the rubber. So just clean it up. And again, I still have my marks of where my letters are going to be positioned. Give it a good clean. You can see that there's a lot of uh, dirt coming off there or rubber residue. Get into the nooks and crannies. Give it a good clean. This is important. And we're going to do it again with another one. And that will just uh, dry and dissipate on there and then we'll be ready. Okay, the tire has been prepped, it's been sanded, it's been cleaned with isopropyl. I know where I want my letters because I have the uh, Sharpie marks on there. And this here is what I will use to make an imprint of this. And uh, as we go along, you'll understand why. So uh, you get six of these in the kit. There's two for each tire. And uh, it actually says you can use them over again, but uh, I really prefer not to. So you want to take the backing off, just like that. And then uh, because I know where my letters start and end, I'm going to use those marks. And just place the sticky side down right there. Okay. And now we want to get an imprint of this tire. So we're going to rub that in. Get in into all the nooks and crannies there. So we have a clear picture of what this tire is when we take this off. So get in the grooves there. This is super helpful. You need to do this right so that you get proper placement of your letters. Okay, so that's that side. And then of course we need to do the other side. Same thing. Peel it off. Follow your marks where your uh, graphics start and end. This is the Can-Am side, so it's a little bit smaller. It starts here, ends here, and the same thing. Just get it on there, push it in, and it's actually the glue on the other side of this strip that makes the imprint, and you'll see why. What I found really helpful is there's an edge here between where the letters go. So if you can really get that in there, you'll see that on the imprint and you'll know where to put your letters when we turn it over. OK, 
Okay. That's looking good, but not only that, what I'm going to do again is transfer these marks that I've made where the letters begin and end on this strip. I found this super helpful marking these like this and then there's no doubt as to where your letters are going to go. All right. Okay. Let's take it off and you'll see. Okay, so there is the imprint. That is the exact imprint. I have my marks on there to correspond with the marks on the tire. There could be no mistake of where uh, Can-Am goes on this. Okay, okay I have Can-Am with the BRP symbol on here. These have to be upside down and backwards and um, also this is the time that you want to uh, cut out any uh, attachments between letters um, what I did with my first tire is I actually went in here and cut off this hyphen just like that and I want to replace it To a little bit of a different spot so that they're not connected and there that looks great so what I'm going to do with this now is I will be applying the glue and that's what this is all about a thin layer is all that is needed and um, I'll be showing you that next so we're going to go ahead and do the other side as well that one's ready Okay, as you can see here, we have our letters on now, uh, upside down, black side up. Um, when you look at it, it'll actually, when it goes on the tire, it'll be like that. So, just giving you an idea of what it will look like, what right side up. Okay, there are a little, few little tabs that I want to cut off here to separate the letters. Uh, these tabs are helpful when you're laying this down, but now we no longer need them, so we're just going to cut them off. Carefully. Oh dear. There's that one and I'll just go along and do the rest of them I'm going to separate these two L's uh, between the R and the E as well and then I'll be showing you how to apply them how to apply the glue and then how to apply them to the tire okay now we are going to apply the glue to the letters this just needs a very even light application. Um, if you overdo it, you're going to get uh, glue 
running all over the tire. So just a really light application. It's uh, made for this. It actually pretty much welds into the rubber of the tire and that's uh, what gives you the, your, your um, really good application so that your tire letters are never coming off. So you have time to do this. This is not going to dry uh, anytime soon, but once you put it on your tire, you only have so much time, very little time actually. And uh, so we'll go through that. So I'm just gonna put a little bead right on the letters. Okay, that should be sufficient. If it isn't, we can always add more. Even after the, the uh, letters are on the tires, we can always add more. This is what this is all about. We're just gonna spread it around evenly. Just like that. Make sure you cover all areas and again just a thin application is all that is needed. Okay, looks like I'm ready. It's looking good. A little bit of runoff there, but that'll be okay. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to transfer this to the tire using the marks that I have here. Uh, so here we go. And once I start this, I'm just going to lightly place it on there so that I can move it if I need to and uh, usually it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem if you need to move it a little bit. Okay so here we go and again I want to stay within the ridges of the tire and use my marks as a guide. So there we are in the center following the imprint on the plastic and I'm just gonna just set it there okay and I want to make sure that the top of the letters and the bottom of the letters are not on the raised part of the rubber and it's looking pretty good if I need to I can move it a little bit yeah, looking good. Okay, so let's just put her down. So there's no moving this now, but I'm happy with placement. We're just gonna rub it in, put some pressure on it. So after you get these letters on, you want to leave it for about 24 hours before you put this back on your bike. Okay, looking good. Looking really good.
All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to peel this off. Look at that. Awesome. There they are. Perfectly aligned, glued down, not too much glue runoff. Looks good. Okay. So now I'm going to do the other side and then I will uh, give you a picture of the finished product. Okay, we have our letters on and don't be afraid to just push it in there. Make sure all your corners and edges are in full contact. And if not, you can always uh, lift them if they're lifting at all and just put a little more glue on and do the same thing that we're doing here. But this is looking good. Okay, there we are. And this is the finished product. There we are. Can-Am Riker Rally. And uh, that's going to look so good on my bike. I'm really happy with this. Um, Treadwear has really good quality letters. They actually look like they're um, raised letters on the tire. And I'm really happy with that. So uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. And um, if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel, which is uh, Rally to the North. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments, just leave them in the comments and any questions, and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, thanks guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye.